As a member of Nobel laureate Marshall Nuremberg's team that broke the genetic code in the 1960s, Tom Kasky was not only a witness to, but a participant in the birth of the genomic revolution. You get a little flutter when, when you realize you're part of that history. Kasky also helped Nuremberg discover the universality of the genetic code, a revelation of potential biblical proportion that shows all animal species on Earth share the same genetic design. It's still a bit of a mystery to those of us in science as to how there could only be one code on the planet, and probably the only code in the universe. I'll, I'll stick my neck out on that. Which is why Kasky is working with NASA as a medical consultant on a manned mission to Mars. If any living or previously living microbes or other life forms are discovered on Mars or any other celestial body within our reach, I'm convinced they will have the same code. Kasky is most celebrated as an international leader in molecular human genetics, whose groundbreaking research has identified the genetic basis of more than 25 inherited diseases. There are now uh, a variety of strategies that are being used to intervene on these diseases. Though in cardiovascular disease, we have many therapeutic op options to intervene that are proven. In the case of breast cancer, we now have drugs that you can give patients that definitely suppresses the occurrence of the cancer. That's very satisfying to know that you're preventing the occurrence of the pathology. Kasky came to Duke for medical school in 1958 and stayed for internship and residency. His interest in genetics was piqued working in the lab of James Weingarten, who was researching gout, which is a genetically determined disease. I saw what the world of research was like. I loved it. I loved the people I was working with. I loved the challenge of the project and I loved getting the answers. And then when I went to NIH, I uh, joined Marshall Nirenberg, and we were off and running on the genetic code. In 1971, he joined the faculty at Baylor College of Medicine, where he has spent the majority of his career. He helped to launch and was director of the Robert J. Clayburg Center for Human Genomics and was director and professor at the Institute for Molecular Genetics, among other key positions. Early in his Baylor career, Kasky's appreciative postdoc students built him his very own state-of-the-art air-conditioned office. In the early 1990s, Kasky became the father of modern forensics by patenting his DNA personal identification system that today is used around the world and is featured on most every television crime show. This came about during the time of a particularly captivating murder trial. I was invited to do expert witness uh, on the O.J. Simpson case, just as I was moving to become senior vice president at Merck. I had to decline, but I wanted desperately to do that case. Kasky was president of the Merck Genome Research Institute for six years before returning to Baylor, where he has remained since. He is a member of the National Academy of Sciences, the Institute of Medicine, and the Royal Society of Canada. I believe Dr. Kasky is the founder of human molecular genetics, the discipline. He brought molecular biology into human genetics at a time that it was largely phenomenological and physiological. And so we could understand the basic changes in the building blocks of life that gave rise to important genetic diseases. Kasky says he married the girl next door. He and Peggy have a son, daughter, and three grandchildren. His biggest passion away from work is sailing, and he keeps a 42-foot boat in Galveston Bay. I love the beauty of the water, and I love the open spaces to get out at night and look at the Milky Way. It is very soothing. But Kasky isn't into sailing just for relaxation. He also races and is quite good at it. We took first place in the Harvest Moon Regatta, which is Galveston to Aransas, it's about 180 miles offshore. One former crew member told the story of sailing with Kasky when the boat's propeller got tangled in a crab pot. Kasky stripped down to his underwear and dove into the water with a knife between his teeth to free the vessel. I don't think it was in my teeth, but I, I had a knife, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> On a more serious note, Kasky said receiving the William G. Anley and Lifetime Achievement Award is meaningful on several levels. It's wonderful to know that you had support from your class and from your, your scientific colleagues at the national level to support it. So the Duke, the Duke Award means a lot to me. And I love Dean Anlian. Dean Anlian was my dean at the time I finished medical school. So it's pretty special. 